give them your respect. Thank you. That's wonderful. Um, same goes for you guys. Welcome. We're really glad that you're here today. We just appreciate you doing a great job of setting an example for our little zebras of how to be a great audience. So we ask that you stay seated and stay quiet. Um, even just a couple of people whispering, you'd be surprised at how noisy that gets up here. So we really do appreciate you setting a good example for the little kids um, by uh, by being quiet, being respectful of the, the people on stage. Um, and also, the bleachers are, you can tell they're old, they're creaky, so when you guys move around very much up there, it creates a lot of noise. So we just ask for you to stay seated. We keep bathroom breaks to an emergency only, um, so we ask that you don't take a bathroom break if this is an absolute emergency, okay? What are we gonna learn about today, boys and girls? Patience. I've made you be kind of patient today, haven't I? You guys are doing a good job, okay? Eyes up here and show me that you're ready for the show and we will get it started. Okay, have fun. Hi everybody and welcome to Zebra Zone. My name is Amy and I'm Becky and we are so glad you guys could be here with us today. If this is your first time with us, well hey, this is a place where kids get to bring their parents to learn all about our character traits. And each character trait is just a little piece of a greater integrity that we want all of our young zebras to display. So we hope that you'll join with us this month as we reveal our new character trait. Becky, would you like to maybe reveal our character trait? With pleasure. Wow. This process is usually a bit more complicated, isn't it, kids? All right. I'll okay, show you Becky. a simple kind of gal. Mm -hmm. oh, sure you are. All right. Come on. Let's give her a drum roll. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey, When they were born. Wait a minute. Anybody that had a mom when they were born? Say it with me as loud as you can. Here we go. Hey, Wait a minute. Later for what you want now. Oh my goodness, Amy. I think everybody here had a mom when they were born. That must be some kind of a record. Oh, you know, I hope so. <laughs> and you know, see, even as how this month was Mother's Day, we want to take some time today, today to just kind of celebrate.
true. You know your mom will always love you. She will? Yes. No matter what? No matter what. Then she's going to love my self-portrait. I'm going to go get my tour now. Let's check out what's going on in the clubhouse. And baby, how about chocolate? Flowers! Flowers!
having a fundraiser at the DFW. There is fruits and wasps? Say, everybody knows the DFW is Veterans of Foreign War. Your vote, as long as fast food salad, stands for Veteran Fabric Washers. That's for us old boys that were in the uh, Navy and were the laundry officers. And we were having a good old fashioned clothes washing down the parking lot at that uh, chicken leg. And I kicked the bucket. That's terrible! Well, it was the bleach bucket, but anyways, I twisted up my leg and did the fine pronunciation. Yeah, the doctor said you've got to keep that brace on and keep the weight off it for a whole week. He don't know nothing. They pinches, and it's itchier than a hairless cat in a flea circus. If you don't leave that on and up, it's going to take a whole week to heal. Yeah, and then you won't be ready for the polka throwdown on Saturday. Oh, I can't miss that, and I've been practicing. Get real good. Grandpa Henry, you've got to sit down. Here, just, just relax and think happy thoughts. Hey, I brought you some fish oil pills. You're squeezing fish? That doesn't seem like you, Sam, but try those. Bad. Kind of tastes like cruel. Yeah, you know they're hundred percent vegan. Get see, I just get the goldfish to spit in these little capsules. <laughs> I just swallowed goldfish to tunes. Grandpa, Henry, you've got to stay off that leg. Here, wrap this around you. It'll help keep you warm. My blood's already boiling, boy. But, but, but the doctor said the warmth will help your circulation. I'm about ready to circulate right out of this leg brace. You know, you just need something to keep your mind off of it. And I've got just the thing. Slow down, move too fast. You got to make more than last just kicking down the cobbles. Your grooving is ramming right through. Right, I need to relax, and I'm going to need the help of both of you. Sam, do you have some of that etchy, necky stuff? Echinacea? Yeah, that's it. Just dip it in some baking grease or something. And, and Marshall, yes. I need a dabbling duck hunt. Dabbling duck hunt. A dabbling duck hunt. All watch. There's nothing that's going to stop us from helping you wait. We can do this. Nothing will stop us. You ready, Sam? You're I'm on. ready. There's two irritations going. There's the second one. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's that doctor know about waiting? I gotta tell Gloria. Thank you. 
the sharing. I wait till they're done and then we can show them. So I think you can do half of this video. Mrs. Mango, could you please try to show patience? Um, we show patience by waiting our turn. Waiting until later for what you want now. That is having patience. And you have to wait and wait. You know what? I show patience because sometimes I know those employees are busy and I patiently wait for my kids on the turn. Patience is when you have to sit and wait and someone else is being taken care of in the nurse's office. I show patience by um, sometimes just having to wait for the things I want and knowing that in time all things work out, but we have to be patient. I show patience when uh, I'm at home in the morning waiting for my kids to get ready for school and they're not ready and I need to get out the door and be here at school. I show patience by being patient while waiting for games that I get to coach because it's really exciting, but we have to wait until we get to school. I show patience by waiting for my class to be quiet and ready for our instruction. And think of all the times that others had to 
kids have been so patient, waiting all month to find out who is going to be the winner of our bicycle, haven't they? They've been like, do you think it'll be me? Do you think it'll be me? Maybe it'll be me. I thought it'll be me. <sighs> Patience, I tell you, we use it every day, don't we? So you guys know, we've worked really hard this month to wait our turn, to kind of slow down and wait for the things that we want instead of just rushing in, right, Zeb? So this month I've had lots and lots of kids who have had their name put into the drawing. And you guys have heard your names on morning announcements, haven't you? Raise your hand if you've heard your name or your class this year, yeah, or this month. Yeah, see, look at all those kids who've been showing patience. That's awesome. Now, of course, we can only have one bike winner. But the great news is, is that when you show patience, good things will come of that, okay? So even if you don't get a bike, way to go for showing patience this month. All right, Beth, will you please hold the basket or the... Goodness, this is barking finger on today. I think it's Friday. Is it Friday? I thought so. Okay, so let's see. Lots of things in here. Who's it gonna be? This is a boy. He is in the second grade. This is Dahmer's class. And he was waiting for his blog entry to be checked. This bike is going to Aaron Bow.
Would I get to wear a leaf rose? If they're 100% organic cotton? <laughs> yes, I did! Woo! Uh, sounds like I'm going to be highly entertained. <laughs> Come on, you two, help me, help me to the show. <laughs> what? What, what's that? I think you just called yourself a dabbling duck, boy! <laughs> Well, I have to tell you that uh, Sam and I did not win the big poker throwdown, but it was really uh, dramatic, very dramatic. Yeah, and I'm starting my own flock of dabbling ducks in the backyard. I haven't seen these kind of high games since I was on the high seat. <laughs> but, but next time, I'm going to know to wait for what I want now. So, how many of you still remember the definition of patience? Raise your hand if you remember it. Okay, help me read it. Are you ready? Patience. Wait until later for what you want. Now, you have been practicing patience this morning. Okay, let me give you an example, and if you can help me out on this question, you raise your hand. Let's say you are on the playground, and you really, really, really wanted to swing on the swings, but all the swings were full. And nobody would get off. So what could you do if all the swings were full and nobody would get off? What could you do that would show patience? I would wait until later until someone got off the swing. Very good answer. Okay, let's say that you were wanting to talk to your teacher. And you raised your hand and you waited and you waited. And she kept calling on other people. What would you do if she just kept calling on those other people and wouldn't let you take your turn? You would keep waiting and be patient? Okay, well, let's say you're at home and you're really, really hungry. But it is taking forever for supper to get ready. And mom just won't call you to supper. And you wait and you wait and you wait. Should you go, Mom, when are you going to feed me? Or should you do something else? You should do something else. You? You should wait. I've got an idea for you, sir. What if you said, hey, Mom, can I help you with supper? That'd be a good idea. And you could also ask your mom for a snack. Oh, awesome. I thought I was going to slide one in on it there, but I didn't quite make it. <laughs> okay, let's just do our patience definition one more time, and then we'll get ready for our sleep or zone theme. Are you ready? Patience. Wait until later for what you want now. Hello. 